Yes, yeah, sir. Welcome back, y'all. You dig what I'm saying? It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another video. Now, today you see the title, you see the thumbnail. I'm going to be answering a question that um, I actually personally had for a couple of YouTubers when I was looking into getting an SS, or getting my dream car, you know what I'm saying? For whoever, you know, whatever your dream car may be, whether it be an SS, whether it be uh, a vet, whether it be a Hellcat, whatever, you know what I'm saying? This is a video that, um, it was always information um, information that I always wanted, you know what I'm saying? And really and truly, as far as like my car, the car that I wanted to get goes, you know what I'm saying? There's not really that many people that was answering the question for me. So I figured why not go ahead and drop this video because it's a couple people that, um, you know what I'm saying, been asking me like, how much do I pay? You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and roll that intro. Or we're gonna get straight into this video. So let's get it. What is good, y'all? You dig? Welcome back to yet again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You dig? All right, y'all. So in this video i'm gonna try to do a lot of like um pov type you know what i'm saying i'm gonna try to flip the camera over and have it face it what i see so you guys can see the on um, road too because i know just looking at me while i drive and talk is um is not as entertaining as you know what i'm saying seeing what i see oh that joint live see like if i was just pointing the camera at myself you guys would have never seen that little mini bike um <laughs> but anyway Got some water, you know what I'm saying? Got me an orange, you know what I'm saying? So we sent um, today. Basically, a lot of y'all have been asking me how much money do I pay for this car a month? Um, how did I get this car? How much did they give me for Hazel on the trade-in? Um, and all of that. So really and truly, I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know what I'm saying? I always keep it a buck with y'all. Always, you know, be up front. So when I saw this car, the sticker price was $23,000, right? I bought this car from CarMax on Golf Freeway in Houston, Texas. Um, it was $23,000 sticker. Um, and basically I traded in Hazel. I did not add any more money on top of that. I just traded in Hazel and called it a day. So when I traded in Hazel, they gave me $3,000. So I had to finance 20K. So with the financing of the 20K, um, it's broken down to about five years, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go ahead and close this. Um, five years, if I'm not mistaken. However, like the reason why I say if I'm not mistaken is because I'm actually currently on the way to a different bank um, because I'm actually about to refinance the car. So that's why I was like, I might as well shoot this video for y'all. Um, talking about how much I was paying for the past six months that I've actually owned the car. And it's crazy because I didn't really know, you know what I'm saying, that it's been six months already since I've owned this car. Um, that's insane, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man, so 23,000 sticker, 3,000 down, five year turn, how much am I paying? <laughs> Everybody always wants to know. So I was paying $460 a month for this car in car note. Um, and I didn't get like an extended warranty on it or nothing. I didn't do anything like that. So it was basically 23 grand. Um, just, that was it. I financed 20,000 and I put 3,000 down in Hazel. Now, a lot of people are gonna see, you know what I'm saying? If you were in my shoes and you got a V6 um, Camaro and you're looking to trade it in and get an SS, you know what I'm saying? This video is for y'all. So I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. When I traded in Hazel, y'all know, the OGs know, um, and if you don't know, um, Hazel definitely had a motor that was on its way out. Um, and when I say on its way out, I mean a motor that was ready to blow. And it was actually um, perfect timing 
to be honest with you because if you guys don't know the story behind hazel and why i even traded it in in the first place basically long story short i took the car to my uncle to get painted um nardo gray and i'll go ahead and insert a picture of the car right now Jeez, that joint fraud but um yeah so i took hazel to my uncle and had him paint the car that color don't get me wrong the color was spot on it was perfect however the work was terrible um it wasn't prepped it wasn't sanded down my front bumper as you guys know i had the six gen conversion front bumper on there and the front bumper wasn't sanded down or anything like that Something stuck under my car. Uh, I don't know. Did y'all hear that? It sounded like some shit was stuck under my car. I did not like that sound at all. And I'm actually aired up. I actually just aired up the car to get over that speed bump. So we're at this light right here. I'm about to go ahead and put it back down to right height and uh Hop out and make sure everything is cool and kosher before this joint turn green. Cause that, that sound did not sound good. Look like we straight. Jeez, that joint turned green, gotta hop back in the whip. I don't know what the hell that was, but it sounded like something was like stuck under my car or something, or like something fell off of my car. That was weird. But anyway, so yeah, y'all, I, took the car to my uncle i had him painted nardo gray and the color was spot on like i said but the work the quality of the work was sh crap so boom literally after like three or four days of getting the car back i was on my way to work and i started to hear the car knock and i lost my mental checked the oil there was no oil on the dipstick at all the car was knocking like crazy and um <laughs> yeah man so ended up taking it back to him he ended up putting a different motor in there had the car for a good minute the motor was crap that he put in there took my money gave me a pos motor that legit was on its way out and at that point i just couldn't keep pouring money into that car and watching it just slowly die you know what i'm saying it was like take this water bottle for example if you put a hole right here where my finger is and you're trying to fill it up to the top, the water is not going to go past this hole. You feel what I'm saying? So the water is my money. <laughs> the top is where I want the car to be in modifications, if that makes any sense for y'all. So I just felt like I was pouring all my money into something that just wasn't working out. So that's why I went ahead and traded the car in and got this one. Um, and so... With all that being said, now, not everybody is gonna be as lucky as I was. Not everybody is gonna get 3K for their POS, you know what I'm saying? I just got lucky. It's really the only explanation that I can give you guys. Um, on top of that, I did have a cosign and my dad cosigned for me and my dad has tier one credit, like his credit is ridiculous. So. It made it very, very easy for me to go ahead and get approved by a bank because he co-signed for me. So if you're in the same situation that I was in or you just have a V6 that you want to go ahead and trade in for a V8, you know what I'm saying? I highly, 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 highly recommend trying to get a co-signer because at the end of the day, it's going to be good for you in the long run as far as how much you're going to have to pay a month your APR and also like just getting approved in general you know what I'm saying because I'm not gonna lie uh, if I didn't have no co-signer I definitely would have had to put a lot more down than just 3,000 for this car so you know, shout out to my pops you know what I'm saying for co-signing for the kid and uh, right now we're actually on our way like I said earlier to the bank to uh, go and try to refinance this car and get the pricing lower. See, like this, this was the plan all along. You know what I'm saying? We didn't really give a damn. Oh my mother! God. 
I should have had the camera looking the other way, bro. I should have had the camera facing the other way, bro. And if y'all would have just saw what just happened, and you seen in this video, I've been trying not to cuss, but like, dude, I almost got hit. <laughs> but anyway, uh, my little brother's calling me right now. Um, he actually started a YouTube channel. It's uh, J.I. Jr., you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm um, trying to teach him how to, you know what I'm saying, copy and paste the link so he can send it to me so I can put it in the description down below. But I'm currently on my way to go and try to get this um, car refinanced. So y'all make sure that y'all stay tuned. If you haven't already, please drop a comment down in the comment section down below. Um, in the last video that I uploaded about how much I made on YouTube, I talked to you guys about. Sorry, y'all. Uh, my, um, my memory card got full, so I had to delete some videos. But anyway, like I was saying, I talked to you guys about this in the last video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll either put a card up or it'll be at the end of the video. Go check it out. Um, please, you know what I'm saying? I need you guys to start interacting with the kid more, you know what I'm saying? Start dropping them comments in the comment section. Let's start getting um, these likes up on the videos as well. Uh, I actually want to start doing something with you guys. I'm going to call it the J.I. Squatch. Shout out. So basically, um, the top comment on every video will be uh, selected within the first 24 hours of the video dropping. Um, and I will go ahead and not only will I pin the, uh, the comment to the top of the comment section, but I'll also go ahead and shout out the person who, you know what I'm saying, dropped that comment. So, without further ado, that's really gonna be it for this video. Like I say, I'm paying 460 a month currently. Um, working to go ahead and try to get this amount brought down a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. So if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, get this video a big thumbs up. Let's try to get 20 likes on this video and drop your comment down in the comment section down below. I told y'all to wake up, I called J.I. Squad out, and y'all showed out and showed up on the last video in the comment section down below. So y'all go ahead and let's do that again with this video and more videos to come. But without further ado, that's gonna be it for this one. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>